Hello friends, family, and subscribers. This is part three on chainsaw maintenance. This is the pickup tube and inside the tank from here to here is inside the tank and then there's a screen that goes on this that's weighted and it holds it on the bottom of the tank. This part bends around and goes to the carburetor. Now here's the problem. With the ethanol fuel that we have that we're forced to buy, from a, a lot of hours of reading and my limited understanding is there is a chemical that is being used to bond the alcohol molecule to the gas molecule. They don't want to stick together. They're not compatible. When they add this chemical, now they'll burn together and burn evenly. The problem is the chemical absolutely destroys rubber and it breaks neoprene down really fast. And it's destroying all the old cars. If you've got a carburetor, you better be treating your fuel or your internal parts and your rubber hoses are going to start breaking down. And here's proof. This is a fairly new saw. It's what, maybe four years old. And you can see that crack right there. And I noticed that this thing started uh, leaning out from time to time. Well, there's a hole right there. You can see it from that. The bad fuel breaks these down. If you leave them in there long enough, when you go to pull these out, it just stretches into a long, gooey mess, kind of like jello. Well, a proof in point is I have one saw that ran 25 years on the original pickup tube. And then when we switched to this ethanol fuel, within a couple of years, that tube just turned into jello. So now, uh, even if you treat your fuel, you're going to have this problem. But good fuel treatment, um, what it does is it does something to that chemical that keeps it from eating the rubber up. So if your saw is acting up, you might have a problem with your pickup tube inside. I went into the saw shop and I asked, how come I've got one saw last 25 years and then another brand new top of the line still I buy from you doesn't last for? And they said, it's not our fault, it's the fuel, look at your pickup tube. And I sure did, and that's exactly what it was on that other saw. Now this one's due to stretch that. You can see that how big that hole was. So if the tank, uh, if the engine was hot, what would happen is things expand, because this part is out of the fuel tank. This is all below fuel tank. This part is above the fuel tank. It starts sucking air right there and leaning out. And that's not happy when you've got only brought one saw and you're out in the woods. Hope that helps somebody. Have a blessed day.